A park in southern Tehran, a place for kids to kick a ball around, but also a meeting point for drug dealers and addicts. Akbar is only 36, but he looks much older. He's been shooting up since he was 10. He lost his job as a shopkeeper a long time ago and now sleeps rough in the park. He tells us that drugs are readily available in his neighborhood, and every child runs the risk of growing up to be like him. Guards are supposed to keep the park clean and drug-free, but they have failed. Farman Roy Ismaili says it's pointless to beat and chase drug users and dealers because the constant supply of narcotics brings them back day after day. Drugs come in from Afghanistan. If the government stops the trafficking, our youth will have a chance to grow up clean. They won't be heroin addicts and they won't have any drugs to take. Iran's eastern border with Afghanistan is long and porous, and thousands of tons of drugs pour through it every year. Iranian authorities say they can only do so much to stem the flow. Iranian police have seized 400 tons of drugs since last March. They say tens of police officers are killed in the war on drugs every year. And it's a war they say they are fighting on behalf of the Western world. At a conference on drug control in Tehran, the head of Iran's anti-drug task force lashes out at international organizations and Western powers. He says his men are being killed by traffickers as they try to stop drugs from reaching the West, and they get little thanks for their efforts. They are the main culprits, those who chase terrorists in Afghanistan. They have left drug traffickers free. And I think they even guide traffickers. They allow a 50% increase of drug production in Afghanistan's Helmand province, where the headquarters of British forces is located. What does that mean? The representative of the UN Office on Drugs and Crime in Iran says he is eager to help, but his hands are tied. The, our technical assistance program, let me say, that uh, is funded by extra budgetary resources. So UNODC does not have uh, um, funding at its disposal to uh, purchase any equipment uh, any, uh, or carry out any training or, or um, uh, even purchasing uh, drug-sniffing dogs. Iran is calling for more help from the international community. But it's too late to help Akbar and so many others like him, whose lives have been blighted by drugs. Ali Reza Ronavi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.